Well, it's a dreary morning out here, but that's not stopping David and I. We're getting the Mustang ready to go to the drag strip today. He had a new 373 ring and pinion installed in the rear end. Yes, folks, it's drag strip time. Yeah, even though it looks like this out here. So we're gonna get this thing out, swap the wheels and tires, and get this thing ready to rock and roll. You ready to go to the track? I'm old. I was born ready. He's been polishing this thing all night long, y'all. But not quite. <laughs> I did have three hours sleep. Okay. So you know me. I'll just take Casper to the track with the dirt and everything on it. That's David, it's David. Meant to be like that. Yeah, that's the way it's meant to be. But David likes the whispering pony to look it's the part. To be concourse ready. Concourse ready. All right, let's get this thing backed out. Swap tires. Got the tires put on. This thing is ready to rock. You tell me what you think. I think this thing looks so much better with these wheels and tires compared to the stock ones. Now, I might be wrong, but I think it looks pretty awesome. Uh, it's still not clearing up, but we're heading to Shelby anyways. Ride along with us. Cool big cats. Yeah. Right. Well, you're the big one. I'm the old one. <laughs> Tell them about the rear diff and... Oh yes, that's that's the um, point of this test here. Uh, we've uh, put in the uh, a rear diff that's had a rem finish on it. Now, we haven't been able to do a dyno run yet. That'll probably happen uh, next weekend. Well, I did try, but it didn't work out. Well, it kind of did and kind of didn't. We that made, was before the gear swap. Yeah, before before figure we we only got peak numbers and, and i'll we, put a picture of that up so you So this was a big learning curve, okay? Uh, I've never dyno tested a 10 speed automatic, but what we learned is we can't hold this thing in gear, which I already kind of uh, suspected that, but you know, we get here, we try to go through it, muddle through it, and what do we find out? No success. Now we yeah. did, we did find out that the car's making really good power. Yes, the car makes great power. What Real little bit of data we were able to get, and I'll put that picture in here. But the problem is it's not consistent enough for us to try to do any A-B testing. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so, and consistency is everything when you're doing this type stuff, when you're trying to find power and you make one pull with this thing, it does one thing make the next pull does something it's different something completely different so we've got to get into the tuning software that david has and hopefully mm -hmm. hopefully it will allow us to lock this thing in gear and consistency we can, is key yeah then we can come back and revisit all this stuff so that's pretty much all that's I got. it man we it, it was a really good trial and error yeah. learn session today yeah. so now we know what we got to do come back with a loaded gun so until next time this is andy from unity motorsports garage this Tom, is thomas at precision dyno that's right we had a repeated 311 312 right at the wheels which for the stuff we've done is no. not too shabby at all right we picked up uh 62 horsepower and about the same in foot pounds and I'm guessing the foot. Yeah, because these things they dyno what about 250 at a tire normally. Yes, that's somewhere in that ballpark. Yeah, yeah that's the typical, the typical figure. Um, it is right around 250. So we went from a 327 gear ratio, or was it a 331? No, no, no. We went from a 3.15 gear ratio. Okay, 3.15 to a 3.71. So one of the things that we need to talk about is when I tried to dyno this thing, we could not get it to hold in any one particular gear. And with the tuning software that David got from Greg, from Greg's Airplanes and Automobiles YouTube channel, we should be able to dive into the computer, 
and put a real tune on this thing and be able to do the dyno testing that needs to be done. Alright, Caden, there ain't no pressure on your next run. You gotta lay the hammer down, alright? We're gonna try. Now you've got to get some good runs because we are all counting on you, including Yeah, no pressure. The, including the guys at AFR, right? Yeah. yeah. They're counting on you to do a professional job. Oh yeah. So you I screw got it. Up. Well you heard you heard screw what it up said in a pro mod driver. Tip back two. <laughs> be pretty interesting um, like I said I hope right now it's showing 57 degrees and the car seems to be running really good so if I can do my job off of the 60 foot the car is gonna run but that's why we're here to see I gotta put this thing in drag mode take the ABS off and see, see what happens. I think this ain't the sun. it went um, 852 or something like that so I'd be interested to see what the mile an hour is <coughs> thank you bud no yeah it was horrible uh, 2.0960 so not terrible but definitely not the best okay Andy let's look at this time step right 209 60 foot. Duty 2.1. Yeah. Well, that's two tenths slower than we normally do. You got wheels. So, yeah. Right. The ET will come back if we get it to leave. But here's the thing with. So, what I tried to do is stage the car and leave exactly like I used to do. Yep. But with the rear end gear, now wheel spin is becoming an issue. I don't know if it's just today or the combination, I don't know, but we'll figure it out. Yeah. So I'm gonna try leaving a little bit softer because before I was bringing it up to 2000 RPM foot braking. And so- Was it showing boost at that? Oh yeah, it, it'll, it'll get right up to braking boost. And then as soon as I let go, it was just like, I could feel it chattering. All right, so, okay, different technique to start then. Right. Yeah, let's now. do this. All right, here we go. I am running a BMW. This should be quite interesting. Uh, like I said, I've got a BMW that I'm racing here. 
the the West Point for the Rodney Mustang. So they're doing a, uh, they're doing a ride up on this Mustang. They're going through from stock and slowly doing the performance add on to see what it changes. And they're doing a whole ride up on it. Andy Woods is the host of Andy Motorsport. Very nice on it. is a mirror image of the last run a 2.03 with an 846 83.19 miles an hour so <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with it the thing about it is now the launch is a whole lot trickier than it was before I think I left a little too soft on that run but I have to go back and watch the footage so I've been coming to Shadyside ever since I was about 12 years old. We're going to go up into the tower and talk to the people that make it happen. All right, so I'm up here with Zach and Seth. Seth, tell them what you got coming on. So right now, uh, in the upcoming weeks, was it March? We get the exact date here. Is it next weekend? It's next weekend. Next weekend. Uh, Baddest be... outlaw track in the south. Well, it ain't really outlaw no more. We'll have, yeah, we're IHRA sanctioned now. Yeah. But we'll have the Carolina Nitro Snaps, which is, I think it's like our seventh installment of this race. Um, features a lot of small tire action. Uh, Limited Street, which is a growing class. They had 34 cars down at Lights Out. Some great yeah. competition going on there. Um, in the semis, there were four different engine combinations. That's and the scoreboards high. will be on. You know, that's yeah. getting kind of rare in the uh, small tire world. Tell me about that uh, big race coming up with Corey, the golden ticket race. What okay. is that? Yeah, so that's the Ronnie Buff Memorial Race. That's yeah. my grandpa. Um, we've always done something big on that event. And uh, I was sitting around last year, and I was like, man, I want to do something real big, yeah. you know. And uh, I thought, well, these small tire guys race hard and, and took a note from the World Series of Pro Mod, basically, of like, yeah. put a big payout out, have a limited amount of field, and invite them only. Because, I mean, there's two, 300 cars we could invite. But so we, we sorted through, names were hard to come by, who to, who to kick out. Yeah. Um, so sorted through all that, we've got 64 of the baddest small tire cars in the country, I believe. They're going to be racing for $50,000 no to win. $50,000. You heard it here, folks. I just wanted to come up here and say hey to you guys. Right, thank Appreciate y'all what y'all do. Yeah, thanks for coming. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and after, uh, after cash days, the week after, we've got uh, Carolina Cash Days, which is a no print. Oh, yeah. yeah. So after the Nats, Carolina Cash Days, another great race. So awesome. We're loaded down right now. Oh, yeah. Baddest track in the south, Shady Side Dragway. Don't believe me, be here. Uh, the memorial race that he talked about is something that's really special here talking about a huge turnout car count i mean this place would be packed i cannot wait to see that We're gonna have the top names in the country here let's get back to david's mustang i gotta do better <laughs>
tour. How about this? I had the traction control on. And you went. And it still spun the wheels. Yeah. Right, not off the line. Once you got out. Yeah. Yeah. Now, did you notice? I went very early, too early. Yeah. So I tried it up there with the traction control on. It's got a delay. On about yeah. When you've got the traction control on, it has a bit of a delay. Yeah. Right, so you need to you need to go right before the last light goes on. Yeah. Not when it goes on, but just before. Anyway, I've got a red light. What, what here's the time slot? 858, 83.5. showed him the tail light though. That's what I'm talking about, folks. Look at that guy right there. Look at Andy Woods. You need any motorsports. They flies are over there. Check him out. Check him out. Andy Woods coming to you in the left lane. Okay, Mr. David Duger. <laughs> We're working on this car. They're going to be adding performance parts to it as they go. They're starting out bone stock and they're, they're video and all that. Uh, Andy Woods is the code for Unity Motorsports. And they've been here to see the code for the LGS team. Check it out on YouTube. All of those are available as well. It's so pretty interesting. Check it out on the phone. And they have stuff to it. Get out of it. So on that run, it went another 852. The mile an hour went down a little bit. Um, I think the computer's doing something weird since we changed the gear and it's not tuned. I think something's going on because it felt kind of like it laid over in middle of the run. And uh, it was pulling really hard first, second, third. And then it laid over about mid-track and I was just alone for the ride I don't know that's the thing I, I really don't know what this thing's doing this modern technology stuff is something <laughs> I don't know nothing about I mean it's a fun car but you guys and gals know me I love simple old school <laughs> you've got another problem now we Got a car that now will spin the tires too. Before, you, this thing would not spin in a mud puddle. Well, guess what? 
now it will on the point of spinning but it didn't spin yeah so here we are two days later i took the mustang out did some draggy testing with it and the ironic part is it's about the mid 70s today and it went the fastest it's ever went with the drag it went at 832 83 point some odd mile an hour you'll see it right here so that just tells me that this thing is going to hook and book when we put some real drag radials on the back of this car and uh that's our next step we're going to put some real drag radials on the car get the car properly tuned and then open up the nitrous bottle and hopefully get deep into the seven so with that being said here on unity motorsports garage we make horsepower not excuses and until next time this is andy i will catch you later